will follow Reeves and you will fire. Bass Reeves was a body man for George Reeves and they go into the Civil War together. George! And that's how the show kicks off. The Battle of Pea Ridge is really important, first and foremost for Bass Reeves' story, because it's his last scene of what he had to do as an enslaved man. The enslavement of black people, the turning human beings into property, it steals from you the ability to live your life as you would live it. And so to find myself playing a character fighting on the side of the Confederacy was challenging. There's, there's no getting away from him. You didn't kill the wrong side. I'd rather be shot in the face and in the back. We see very early on in episode one, there's this weird connection between Bass and Esau Pierce. Esau, he's a very complex character in that he's a Confederate major and he leads a company of 50 mounted Cherokee warriors. And they're about to descend into the battlefield and he sees this bold, courageous character out you know, in the middle of the field firing his rifle. Esau Pierce is also fighting on the side of the Confederacy, but is um, higher up within the echelons of the military. Bass is kind of in awe of this wild character. And then they meet later at the tavern. I think Bass is a little unnerved by Esau. What is your name, soldier? No soldier, sir. Just Bass. Well, you are a wolf then, Bass. Esau, I think, really admires Bass, and he, he would like to befriend him. In fact, he'd like him to join him, but Bass sees the wolf in Esau and, it, and keeps him at arm's length. You can just tell this is gonna be unfinished business between these two guys. We all breed apart. We know our own. And it's just this really wonderful moment between the two of them. I really enjoyed that scene. There is a moment where Bass is presented with the opportunity to become free, and he takes it violently. I'll set you free tonight, but you must beat your master. George says that he will free Bass tonight with no intention of doing that. And these are the games that George plays really based on an insecurity within himself around Bass. George is definitely terrified of losing power and that power extends to power over Bass. And because of that, he is trying to manipulate him and make him feel helpless and hopeless. Card game represents that. The card game for me was the Everest of this episode because so much changes after that moment. So the violence with which he takes his freedom had to be indicative of what he's capable of and where he never wants to go back to again. Are you hurt? I don't mess up. For all of us. When Bass comes back to the quarters and tells Jenny that he's messed up for all of us, he doesn't even have to say what it is he did. It's pretty clear. Bass, look at me. Look. So in that moment, she knows that he has to run in order to save his life. It's survival. And he took off with the goal of getting across the Red River, the natural border between Texas and Indian Territory, specifically get to Seminole Nation. It would have been the place where he would find people most welcoming to him. Seminole? Run away. While I was doing my research, uh, came to discover the black Seminole culture within the Seminole tribe. And it seemed most likely to me that, that is where Bass found safe harbor once he became a runaway. You need rest. Where am I? Long way from anywhere. Big Sarah, who's our representation of the black Seminole within the show, like him, has an inner strength that he sees and uses it sort of as a guiding light for a way to live. You can swing a hammer? She a horse? I ain't afraid of work. You stay here. He also gets a lesson in parenthood from her that he doesn't realize that he's going to need. Major Pierce. No major now. Just Esau. 
Esau has been captured and he's been brought to this junction point for supplies. Esau's men, they basically get into a gunfight and release Esau from the prison wagon. Now! Esau's about to escape and Bass's young sort of stepson levels his shotgun on Esau and cocks both hammers and Esau's got these loaded barrels in his face and sort of has no choice but to fire on the boy to, to escape. That was a heavy, heavy, heavy day. Just don't go crazy. Esau kills someone very dear to Bass, and so it's very clear that these guys are very much on a collision course. My loss can't be yours. You take pistol. You live brave, too. I think that we're creating something beautiful and profound, and it's all worth it. In that respect. The truth is a lot of people don't know who Bass Reeves is, and so I deal with my nerves with just being tireless at making sure I've done everything I can to pay honor to the character I'm playing. Jenny? 